from the hinterland to the city. The Dunedin City Council has spent $100 million and 21 years upgrading the city's water catchment, processing and distribution. Back in 1995, city water had an EE rating and was widely regarded as undrinkable. It's a different story now and the DCC's water operations manager is very proud of the team. The greatest achievement is, is finally getting all the plants upgraded to be able to uh, produce A-class water, um, completely meeting drinking water standards and being able to uh, produce high quality, well-treated water for the people of Dunedin. Jared McCombie began working at Mount Grand in 1976 and remembers the days before all these processes were in place to provide drinkable water. Yeah, back in those days, the the, the, the quality of the water was uh, very poor at times and, and inconsistent. Um, the, the water was highly coloured as opposed to now, where it's uh, very, very crystal clear once it's gone through the process. When the water arrives at Mount Grand from Deep Stream and Deep Creek, it begins many layers of filtration, with chemicals being added along the way. DCC Water Treatment Team Leader Derek Crawford outlines some of the processes. The water passes across here to the uh, DAF process, which stands for Dissolved Air Flotation. Uh, just prior to the water passing in, into the uh, DAF process, uh, chemicals are added to create uh, flock particles. The flock particles attract uh, uh, colour and turbidity and just give some substance uh, to be uh, extracted from the water. The process involves uh, dissolved air being added to the water which rises up through the water and lifts the flock particles to the top which are then scraped off. He says the multi-level filtration process is one of the recent additions to the plant. The process has taken 21 years as the council has not wanted to disrupt the supply of water to Dunedin residents. Chris Henderson says there is still more work to be done. The plant produces A-grade water, but it's down to a B-grade when it comes out of the tap in some areas, due to the age of some pipes. Henderson says their aim is for AA-rated water for all of Dunedin within 5 to 10 years. Darrell Baser, The South Today.